Hey, Monica. How was your weekend? Hi, Emma. It was pretty good. Went to a dinner party. How about yours? Oh, nice. I just relaxed at home. What was the dinner party like? It was lovely, though it reminded me how important etiquette is at these things. Oh? In what way? Just small things, like not starting to eat until everyone is served, makes a big difference. That's true. It shows respect for the host and the guests. Exactly. And what about saying please and thank you? It seems basic, but is so important. Absolutely. It's all about making people feel appreciated. Right. Oh, and I noticed something about conversations at the table. What's that? Keeping the topics light and avoiding anything too controversial keeps the mood pleasant. Good point. It's about ensuring everyone enjoys their time, isn't it? Yes, exactly. By the way, have you ever felt unsure about which fork to use during a fancy dinner? Sometimes, yes. I read that you generally start from the outside and work your way in. That's a helpful tip. Makes me less nervous about formal settings. Same here. Speaking of manners, do you send thank you notes after attending such parties? I do, actually. I think it's a nice gesture. You? I've started to. It really does leave a good impression. Agreed. Shifting gears a bit, how's work going for you? It's going well. Busy, but in a good way. And your new project? It's challenging, but exciting. Learning a lot along the way. That sounds rewarding. Hey, have you tried any new hobbies lately? Yes, I've taken up painting. It's quite relaxing. What about you? I've been getting into gardening. It's satisfying to see things grow. That sounds lovely. It must be nice to have a bit of nature at home. It really is. Plus, it teaches you patience. True. Speaking of patience, how do you deal with difficult people in your life? I try to stay calm and understand where they're coming from. Communication is key. Wise words. I believe in picking battles wisely. Definitely. It saves a lot of energy. For sure. By the way, are you planning any trips soon? Thinking about a weekend getaway to the countryside, fresh air and tranquility. Sounds perfect. I'm planning a visit to a friend in another city. That'll be nice. Catching up in person is always special. Absolutely. Hey, have you watched any good series lately? Yes, I started one about detectives. It's quite gripping. You? I'm into a comedy show right now. It's a great stress reliever. Laughing is important. I'll check it out. Definitely do. Laughter is the best medicine, after all. Couldn't agree more. Oh, have you been to that new cafe downtown? Not yet, but I've heard good things. Let's go together? I'd love that. A coffee date is long overdue. Agreed. It'll be fun to catch up more. For sure. Let's plan for next weekend? Perfect. I'll look forward to it. Me too. Well, I better get going. Got an early start tomorrow. All right. Take care, Emma. Talk soon. You too, Monica. Have a good evening. You as well. Bye. Practice session. Let's practice together. I'll go first. Hey, Monica. How was your weekend? Oh, nice. I just relaxed at home. What was the dinner party like? Oh? In what way? That's true. It shows respect for the host and the guests. Absolutely. It's all about making people feel appreciated.
What's that? Good point. It's about ensuring everyone enjoys their time, isn't it? Sometimes, yes. I read that you generally start from the outside and work your way in. Same here. Speaking of manners, do you send thank you notes after attending such parties? I've started to. It really does leave a good impression. It's going well. Busy, but in a good way. And your new project? That sounds rewarding. Hey, have you tried any new hobbies lately? I've been getting into gardening. It's satisfying to see things grow. It really is. Plus, it teaches you patience. I try to stay calm and understand where they're coming from. Communication is key. Definitely. It saves a lot of energy. Thinking about a weekend getaway to the countryside, fresh air and tranquility. That'll be nice. Catching up in person is always special. Yes, I started one about detectives. It's quite gripping. You? Laughing is important. I'll check it out. Couldn't agree more. Oh, have you been to that new cafe downtown? I'd love that. A coffee date is long overdue. For sure. Let's plan for next weekend. Me too. Well, I better get going. Got an early start tomorrow. You too, Monica. Have a good evening. Now, let's switch the role. You go first. Hi, Emma. It was pretty good. Went to a dinner party. How about yours? It was lovely, though it reminded me how important etiquette is at these things. Just small things, like not starting to eat until everyone is served, makes a big difference. Exactly. And what about saying please and thank you? It seems basic, but is so important. Right. Oh, and I noticed something about conversations at the table. Keeping the topics light and avoiding anything too controversial keeps the mood pleasant. Yes, exactly. By the way, have you ever felt unsure about which fork to use during a fancy dinner? That's a helpful tip. Makes me less nervous about formal settings. I do, actually. I think it's a nice gesture. You?
Agreed. Shifting gears a bit, how's work going for you? It's challenging but exciting, learning a lot along the way. Yes, I've taken up painting. It's quite relaxing. What about you? That sounds lovely. It must be nice to have a bit of nature at home. True. Speaking of patience, how do you deal with difficult people in your life? Wise words. I believe in picking battles wisely. For sure. By the way, are you planning any trips soon? Sounds perfect. I'm planning a visit to a friend in another city. Absolutely. Hey, have you watched any good series lately? I'm into a comedy show right now. It's a great stress reliever. Definitely do. Laughter is the best medicine, after all. Not yet, but I've heard good things. Let's go together? Agreed. It'll be fun to catch up more. Perfect. I'll look forward to it. All right. Take care, Emma. Talk soon. You as well. Bye.